What's up guys, this is Reno Ronchero, and I am playing the Boxer Kit in this video, so let's get right into it. The Boxer Kit decreases all incoming sword damage by a half of a heart, and your fist also does almost as much damage as a stone sword, but in this video I don't use that feature of the kit. So right off the bat, I try to make a stone sword, but invincibility is already worn out, and I kind of freak out when I don't get to make all my soups, and this viper with a wooden sword starts hitting me. It's lagging a lot, and I try to kill him, but he ends up killing me. But luckily, as an MVP, I respawn, and I'm right in the swamp, which is always really nice. Sometimes you respawn in a jungle or a taiga, and you have to keep killing yourself in order to get to where you want to be. But I'm able to restart, get a good amount of mushrooms way out close to the force field, and I'm able to get my wood, and right as I dig down and I start making my sword, something happens. There's a Frosty who somehow is out this far and he's right above my hole but I get all my soups ready I break the blocks that he's standing on and I jump up and hit him a few times and I kill him now this is a gift from God right here because look what he had in his inventory 15 iron ore if I was him I definitely would have smelted that iron instead of fighting some random guy in a hole but I'm not gonna question it I'm just going to accept it and I get some cobble to make a couple of furnaces and I get up in a tree which is always a great place to smelt because you can get the logs and use them as charcoal and no one can surprise attack you unless they're an ender mage so I get the lumber and I'm smelting it and this is very laggy even though we're eight minutes into the game it's still extremely laggy but I'm trying my best to pay attention to anyone who might come there's some one named Sweet who's running around over there, but they don't seem to be paying me much attention, so I keep smelting. I make a chest plate and I make boots, and I cook a couple of steak, and then I grab my furnaces and crafting table and I start hunting. I see Sweet is right there. They have no armor and a stone sword, so I jump in for my second fight of the game, and it's really laggy as you can see, but I have an iron sword, they have a stone sword, and I kill them. So I go through, I hold on to those four snowballs because you never know when that can come in handy and I'm going toward this guy named Domo PvP. Now this is really funny. I don't I don't understand what this guy does, but this is pretty funny. So I see him in this ravine, and I start to mine down to get to him to kill him. And I notice he starts to tower out, so I switch to snowballs, but then he go runs over there, and then look at this. He acts like he's a stomper, but he's actually a viper. Don't understand that at all. I don't know why he would do that. He probably almost died from the fall, and it only took a couple of hits to kill him. So I snag his helmet, and now I'm missing just the leggings for about 14 minutes into the game. And I'm running into the swamp, and the sun is about to go down, and now it's nighttime. I see these two guys fighting. Cyber is a vampire, and the guy he's fighting, Yogi, is a gambler. Um, I start to hit the gambler, and I hit him, and he's taking fall damage as I'm hitting him. And we start to fight over here, and my hands are kind of shaking at this point, because I don't know why, I'm just really getting kind of nervous. Um, but I'm doing well. Uh, he starts to run away, and I've only used three of my soups. Um, chasing this guy, hitting him a lot. A spider starts to chase him, which is kind of funny. It's always nice. That's why I like the monster kit so much, because you get all the mobs on your side. Anyway, right here, he goes over, and I fall here, and I into this cave opening. I'm able to switch out my stews, and right as I do it, the vampire cyber jumps down and starts hitting me. But I have a full hot bar of soups against him. I get him against a wall, and I'm hitting him a lot. And right there, I kill him. And I'm able to take his pants, and I'm able to have some time to get my inventory more organized. I have plenty of stew, which is always a good thing. You can see right there, the stomper wants to team with me. He's up in a tower, but I, of course, decline. And now, there are... So both of those guys are dead, and I... No, one of them's dead, and I'm now I'm finding the gambler again. He, I try putting lava on him, it doesn't work. He hits his button and gets regen. So that's nice for him, but I'm still hitting him a lot, and I'm backing him up. Now watch really carefully, there's a hole right there. Watch that hole, because as I'm fighting the gambler, a team of two comes. It's a Thor and a Viper. And I kill the gambler first, turn around, and I'm hitting both of them, and then the Thor decides to strike down lightning, and that's when I decide to run. But watch at the chat, look, the Thor fell too far, he must have fallen in the hole. So I'm running away, but the Viper is chasing me, and there's a double creeper explosion, but I block with my sword, and I'm fighting the Viper, and the spider comes from behind and kills him. So this is just a very, very chaotic game. I've seen four people in the game, and now they are all dead. 
I am now in the top 10, and the feast is going to be announced in just two minutes. I get up in this swamp tree to kind of gather myself, um, get my soups together. I make another bucket, as well as an iron pickaxe, which I don't even think I even use in this game, because I never have to go underground. Um, so I run up here, and um, I get a lava bucket, and then I notice this guy over here, who is also a gambler. I haven't seen him yet in the game, and I start hitting him. And we're right at the base of the Stomper's Tower, so I'm pretty much crouching this entire fight. I kill him right here. Um, well, actually, right here, and I'm crouching, and the Stomper jumps down, thinking I'm not holding shift, but I am. And I kill him right there. So this has been just crazy. But now there are only eight people in the game, and I repair my armor because it's really gone through a lot. And now I find this viper here who doesn't have a helmet, but he likes to dump lava, and he's also a viper. <laughs> so man, I'm poisoned and I'm on fire, but I continue to charge forward no matter what. He's all out of lava now, so all he can depend on is his poisoning ability. I'm just hitting him and hitting him, and I get him back towards this wall so we can't back up and run away. And when I have one soup left, I finally kill him. So I get all my soups back, and now I'm in the top seven. And I'm running over towards the feast, which is going to start in just two minutes. And my compass is pointing towards three different people. One of them is Nightwalker, who's a cookie monster. One of them is Maniac, who's a stomper, who just got a kill. And then there's a guy, Eagle, who's a chameleon. Eagles. So I actually look over, and I see... Uh, the chameleon over there. It looks like he might have a teammate who's a sheep, but I'm not too sure. Anyway, the feast is going to start in 20 seconds, and the stomper comes and dumps down lava. He starts to pill it up, and remember I saved those snowballs from that frosty for my first kill of the game. And it comes in handy, because the stomper, he cannot tower. So now we got three people at the feast. One of them is a sheep, I think. He's a chameleon, but look, he really is a sheep. So there's a waste right there, just a random sheep's on fire. And now I'm on fire, and it looks like there's another chameleon who just gets killed. Maybe that guy really was a chameleon. It's really confusing at this point. And there, those two guys are not on a team. They just hit, so they're fighting each other. So it's really a free-for-all right now. That guy has two lava buckets, and he gets me twice. And so I'm running after him while on fire, and he's retreating. I see Maniac is trying to go to the feast. I think they might have enchanted their sword. I'm not too sure. Um, but I'm just, every time one of them gets to the platform, I try carefully to knock them away from the chest, because I don't want anyone to equip any diamond. Nightwalker tries to catch me on fire there, but it doesn't work. I hit him a lot, causing him to retreat. Then Maniac hits me again, but I hit them away from the feast. I'm just trying to get some time to the chests. This guy here runs. I avoid one lava bucket, then I avoid a second lava bucket. And hitting him enough times, I am able to finally run over to the chest. Maniac appears to be flying right there. I'm not quite sure what's going on. But as I'm going to the chest, watch what Maniac does. Nightwalker is just standing there, and he dumps him in lava. So now I have a diamond chest plate, and my hop bar my soups are back in order. Maniac's on fire. With only a few hits, I kill him. And then the chameleon, I mean the cookie monster, burns to death. So finally, I get the feast to myself, and look at the platform. It's just covered in lava. Just crazy. I probably was on fire 10 to 15 times during this game so far, but I'm still alive. And watch this chameleon right here. He runs in, and he gets some loot, and then he throws an ender pearl. Now that is just genius. I've never seen a chameleon do that before, but I was not expecting it. Props to that guy. Or girl. So... Anyway, making sure that they're not over there, I get the feast, get a diamond sword, and I'm able to make a bow as well. And I leave the feast um, to go and find this chameleon who's running and running and running. And you can see my X coordinate is getting smaller and smaller, approaching negative 500. And right as I get the warning, I stop, I switch to my bow. And right as I switch to it and pull back, they run into the force field. But I still get credit for the kill. And I really like that um, system because I don't lose the kill. So I have 10 total kills and there's one guy left. But the mistake I made was that I left some potions at the feast. In fact, there are two poison potions and an insta damage that he gets his hands on. So, But I don't realize that at this point. So I throw down a strength potion thinking I'm going to be able to kill him. And what does he do? He puts down a lava bucket, then he throws two poison potions at me, then he flint and steals, 
And then, as I'm going up this hill, he throws an insta-damage at me, and I get down to one heart. But I soup up anyway, I'm still on fire, and I'm chasing this guy, and right here, he flint and steals a vine, and he catches himself on fire. But I still have the strength to effect of my potion, and I don't think he can sprint anymore, because I jump, and I hit him, and I win. Oh, man, this game was crazy, very crazy, but it ended up being successful, really fun game. And here is the stats page for the game. I had 11 kills as boxer, not my most kills, but definitely a lot of full iron people I had to take on, but I ended up winning. So that is the end of the game. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you would want to, and I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye.